Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Blast the Process 3 on the ESA channel, porting Save the Children. We're continuing with yet another wonderful Genesis game, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker by Count Gooby. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll just get right into it. And I'm just going to go in three, two, one, go. All right. Good luck. Thanks for the good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. So you've probably seen uh, some Moonwalker runs before uh, the Genesis version, because this is Blast of Process, and one of the people here are Sega fans, but uh, this is the arcade version, so... Uh, it's a little bit different. It's more of like a beat-em-up game, and you get to be a uh, robot Michael Jackson a lot in it. Just like the, um... Just like the movie, I guess. Oh, was it? Was that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, in this um, in this game, um, what we'll be doing here is we've got two buttons. We've got one special move, which is which will uh, is the dance off, and we can KO all the enemies on the screen. That was the first stage, by the way. Short, nice like tutorial stage. Later stages will be longer than that. We also get some jams. So yeah, um, you get your attack button, which is your music, or not your music, your magic, excuse me. I'm thinking the great music in this game, excuse me. Got some smooth criminal going. Because of course it's Moonwalker, you gotta have the Michael Jackson music. There we go, and you pick up the children, and then they'll give you stuff, like a special move or some health. Also, every time you uh, put in a credit, that sound effect happens, so it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, kind of similar to what uh, the Streets of Rage runners were telling earlier. It's kind of like beat em up runs, kind of auto scrollers, but you kind of have to like route beating the enemies as fast as possible. Pretty much charge up uh, magic as much as possible. Try to blast as many enemies at the same time as possible. There's not any major glitches this run. Just mostly all about just solid movement, solid enemy fights, things like that. You know, we are going to use a dance off here. Press one if you're feeling the sour please for this song. There we go. Let's see if I can. Uh, okay. We'll do this then. Yeah, every time I do, I get close to them and do an attack. I'll do this little spin move. Uh, when I'm far away. I'll just do that large laser blast. Yeah, there's only five stages in this run, so it goes by pretty fast. Those musicians over there were actually um, Dr. Biggs, um, just henchmen there. So we gotta go beat him up. There we go. Oh, we gotta pick up Bobo. There we go. <laughs> Getting the laser, Michael Jackson. Gotta have it. One, there's the ones. Here's our first boss fight, and it's first, there we go. This little shield robot, we just gotta hit him on the back side, ideally. There we go, we can still kinda hit him through it, but like, wanna get him when he turns around. There we go. It's gonna throw some Madukins at us, just gotta dodge out of the way, there we go, there's one. We're gonna have to beat up his friend too. And easy does it. The story I found this game was, uh, is at my, at an arcade near me. And, um, there we go. 
when you just had a cabinet of this game going. I was looking for all the Sega stuff to play. This was the one that just most appealed to me, so... I'm pretty sure you know this song. Are you all eating it or beating it right now? We also got these wheel guys. Take, the, take care of them too. Uh, okay. We'll end up using a dance off here. There we go. So I want the enemies to line up nicely so I can all hit them with one laser blast. That would be nice. Sometimes they don't want to do that though. Because AI always likes to cooperate with us in speedruns, as always. Never has once not cooperated. <laughs> well, yeah, got hit by that. Get wrecked. <laughs> Kind of cooperating with us there, kind of lumping together. All right, I'm gonna get some power ups over here. There we go. One, two. This will take care of those uh, larger enemies a bit better. There we go. Still gonna have to like fight them a little bit, but at least we did some damage to them. Now we got wrecked. We need some Shimon. There we go. <laughs> I love that credit sound effect. It's so great. And there we go. Nice. That went pretty well. He could be kind of trolly, but... He was nice to us. There we go. So yeah, pretty much whenever there's a large, um section of enemies on the screen. We're just gonna try to using uh, that right there, the dance off. Just makes it faster. Just a consistent way of beating all the enemies there. So there we go, I can do, well, you can damage boost through them. I just ended up blasting through them, but I just wanted to blast the process so much. Ha. Ha. <laughs> My blast the process puns are on fire today. So get your oh my doggos out, because uh, we got a lot of doggos here. Alright. Yeah, doggos can be a little trolly. Uh, there we go. They were nice to us today. So that's good. Sometimes they just like to keep... Like, just running in weird patterns and stuff, and just kind of waste time. Yeah, let's use a dance-off right there. That's a good section of enemies to beat. There we go, nice. Oh, there we go. Oh. But yeah, if you can get a few other people to play this with, uh, this game supports three players, so... If you're looking for a cool three-player beat-em-up, definitely a good one to play. And the perspective of it's also kind of a, it's a lot different from other beat em ups. It's like you've got games like King of Dragons, for example, where it's more 2D, but this one's kind of got, it's like a top down almost. It's cool. That's, I really like that about it. Other beat em ups I couldn't get into as much, but I think the perspective of this one really helps me with it. I feel like I can kind of explore the environment more, so. Free to doggos. Round four, unfortunately, not Thriller is playing. So, I mean, I, I'm i sure they wanted Thriller to play here, but 
for whatever reason, just couldn't get it to happen, so. But yeah, would have loved to see that, but it's all good. Also, so something else about this game. So, uh, I used to play this at my local arcade. Then, though, when I recently went in there, they actually sold it for a different machine, so... Feels bad. It's like, dang, the one game I speedrun here. <laughs> the one arcade game I speedrun. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I gotta find some more arcade games to run, I guess, then. But it's arcade speedrunning is pretty cool though. I mean, that's not it's kind of untapped. I would really like to see more people kind of explore into it. There's a lot of really cool arcade games out there, but just I don't know. I don't feel like there's a lot of runners for them. So you know that wheel guy is deciding to be a jerk. Let's just do this. When's this game being rebooted? Remake would be kind of cool. There we go. So this guy's gonna shoot a CD disc at us. I like to call it a CD disc, because it looks exactly like a spinning CD. Maybe these are all Sega CD discs or something, who knows. There we go. Come on. He's not wanting to be nice to me. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now we get to go through the graveyard. Which again, Thriller was definitely the intention here, but just was not a thing, I guess. So. Go, just spin. Alright, took care of those guys pretty nicely. Alright. Nice. Got a two for one deal there. That's exactly what you want to see. Getting the two for one combo in Moonwalker. That's what I like to see. And there we go. Perfect time for a dance off. I love how the zombies dance. So good. <laughs> Sound effects are also so good. Try to keep my distance away from the robots. There we go. Oh, there we go. That guy's just gonna get stuck. Or I guess not. Looked like he was gonna stay stuck. We got kind of damage boost and hurt him. Okay. We'll do this then. Oh, don't leave me, Bobo. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, Mr. Big. Uh, we're gonna be fighting him right up here. He's got this giant like turret machine, and we're gonna be all three sections of it. It also summons ghosts, which is pretty odd. There we go. Let's try one of these. Yeah, there's two animations you get on the special. That the one that just played is my favorite. You've seen the other one play too. Alright. This will be. Oh, okay. Okay, so pretty good fight though. Let's do that. <laughs> and now we're on to our final stage. So, yeah, like I said, things go uh, pretty quick in this one. It is an arcade game, so, like. You know. Also, uh, if you're interested in this game, which, if you're looking for a cool beat em up, I recommend it. Um, definitely watch the cutscenes, they're really fun. <laughs> at, uh, uh, at the beginning of every cutscene, Michael Jackson will do his famous, like, the hoo hoo, that thing. I can't really do it well, but you know what I'm talking about. 
Or like the Chumbone or something, it's great. Hi, Happy Coco. How's it going? Hope you're enjoying some Moonwalker. There we go, let's get rid of this robot. Do another dance off here. I'm feeling that. Even the guards get into the dance, they can't stop feeling the jam. to squeeze in between but didn't quite get it. That's okay though. Let's see if I can beat that guy. There we go. Alright. Those guys are just holding boulders too. Why they're holding just boulders randomly I don't understand. <laughs> if someone knows the reason for that please tell me. I would love to know. Two for one combo deal? Nah. Ooh, we almost we might be able to get a three for one combo deal right here. Look at that. Look at that Wendy's three for one combo right there. Ooh, come on. There we go. Kinda gotta weave in and out to bait his attack and then I can kinda use the extent of my magic to beat him after. He doesn't... Yeah, I don't want him to jump around like that, though. Yeah, come on. Mm, he's not... Okay. Please? <laughs> We're gonna do this, then. <laughs> there we go. Whatever gets rid of him, right? And, of course, it's a beat-em-up, so you gotta have your elevator section. Because really, it's not a beat em up without an elevator section, is it? So. And we get some bad playing in the background here, so you know. It does, Phantasma, you're right. It is quite good. Like, this rendition of Ad is pretty nice. I enjoy all the renditions of the songs in this game. They're all pretty good. Alright, there we go. Yep, even, they even say the who's bad. So that's pretty cool for like, the 90s arcade game. You don't get to see lyrics and songs a lot of the time in the game, so... And during that time... I'm sure that blew a lot of people's minds away. They did, Phantasma. Here we go. Let's get the monkey. And let's chill on this elevator a little bit. These green, the turret guys are not being friends to me today. Oh, that guy! Oh, what did I- Oh, the guy jumped- Okay. It's like, what killed me there? <laughs> okay, it's an arcade game, so of course it wants to take your credits whenever possible, so... Good thing I have infinite credits, so... Is there a debate going on in the best MJ song? Alright, so this is the final boss fight. Time will be when I, uh, right as I beat this uh, boss. So we're gonna take out these turrets, kind of like when you're fighting Dragon in Super Metroid, the first turrets is kind of how I think of it. There we go, he shoots... He shoots his flames in a consistent pattern, I'm just... There we go. Trying to weave around it to where he's at. It's not the greatest. 
for me right now. Let's see here. There we go. All right. Come on, Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll know he's defeated. You'll start bursting into flames. I'll also let you know. Let's use a dance off. Smooth criminal is a good choice. Okay, that's time. Oh, uh, GG. Thanks for the GG. Sorry for the the uh, sudden, <laughs> just the sudden the time like that. Uh, you, you were you were enraptured by the run. Yes. You were in the zone. There you go, you see Mr. Big explode and uh, MJ turn into a plane, because of course he can. And we get some Billie Jean, of course, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, what was my time? 19.56. Oh yeah, that's a PB for me. That's my oh, first sub-20. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. So then we get to see these little credits. And yeah, but overall, just want to say thanks for Blast the Process for letting, uh, letting me show this game. I think this is the first time the arcade version has ever been shown in the marathon. Uh, I really encourage people to do some arcade game speedruns if you thought this was interesting. Go to your arcade, find a game you might find interesting, and then try find a way to play it, and then just like, you know, try some runs. We need definitely some more people trying that stuff out. It's really, mm -hmm. uh... Not a lot of people doing it, and you could definitely have some cool stuff going on there, so. Yep, and then all songs written and composed by Michael Jackson, available on tapes and records. Ooh. So you know. And. You know it's. Gotta have the Sega logo. But of course. Yes. Well, thank you so much for that run. It was a lot of fun to see. No problem, glad you enjoyed it. What have we got next mm -hmm. to F Zero? And yes, we actually have F Zero GX. Yes, it, Se Sega collaborated on this game. It, it it counts in this marathon, and it'll be done by one David J. So, stay tuned.